Good morning. Grab your coffee. I'll grab mine. I'll meet you back here in 10 seconds and we'll do some fun in the kitchen. Hey guys, welcome back for those of you that have been here before, for those of you that haven't. I'm Sylvie. Today's Saturday, hence Sylvie on Saturday. Welcome. Um, again, I've got a bit of a longer show. It was suggested that I cut this into two and do one biscuit and two episodes, like one biscuit per episode, but that wasn't the way I filmed it and that would have taken way too much editing, which I don't have the time for because remember last week I was enjoying unemployment that didn't last long. I guess the company that I was working for that had the contract was very impressed with my work, so they created a position for me and a sister company, and now I'm the dispatcher. So yeah, back to Monday to Friday, which is like, oh my god, it's taken, I think it's gonna take me a while to get back into five days a week, but it's only eight hour days instead of 12, so my days go faster, there's just more of them, and I'm so exhausted on the weekends, I do nothing. Um, last weekend though, we managed to make it out and coming up in the next couple of episodes you will see my trip to the lava beds, so I'm pretty excited about that. But that one's going to take a lot of editing, so I want to sit and have time to work on it. So like I said, that's going to be a few episodes away. Um, today is episode 50. Two more and I'll have been on YouTube for an entire year. Like, wow. So that's probably going to be like a review episode we're going to go through to, I want to show you a little bit of my pilot episode when I didn't know I was doing. I had no idea that this was such hard work, but I've been here a year. I've loved every minute of it. I love all of you guys. I want to thank my regular viewers for coming here every week. Susan, Nancy, Joy. Hi, ladies. Um... Anyways, I kind of was hoping to keep the yapping to a minimum because, like I said, I've got two different recipes to show you, so we're going to roll into that. you got cottage cheese biscuits and ricotta cheese with black pepper biscuits. They are both so very, very good, and they're actually a lot easy. They're really easy to make, so join me, and I'll show you how. Hey, all. As you can tell, today we are back in the kitchen. Um... A few episodes, well, quite a few episodes ago now, because it was like way back in the middle of winter, I did, showed you guys how to make a basic biscuit. I'm able to make my hand soup and biscuit recipe. Today, I'm going to show you two different specialty biscuits that you can try that are really, really good. If you're like me, and your idea of a nice, good meal for one person is like gravy and biscuits, then you gotta try these two. So here you go. As usual, but this one actually starts out a lot like the um, the basic one that I showed. Preheat your oven before you start. Okay, two cups of flour. I need half a teaspoon of salt. Hmm. Okay, right, there we go. Half a teaspoon of salt. And a tablespoon of the baking powder. Oh, where's the box? That one is. Oh, I already got a tablespoon in there. Let me you know. Okay, tablespoon baking powder. Okay, we'll just kind of sift those together a bit. Got five tablespoons of cold butter. We want to cut that kind of smaller before we put it in, or it'll just be a heck of a time trying to cut it up with the thingamabob. So we'll just okay. Now those up a bit. I've, I heard it described as different things, coarse meal, small peas, but you just mix the butter in with the rest until you get like a, 
I guess a coarse meal is probably the best. You want it kind of all mixed in. You don't want your big chunks. You just want... will build up. Make sure you clean off your pastry cutter. Okay, and then, oh, oh let's actually do this in front of the bowl for y'all. And Two cups of cottage cheese, so yeah. Okay, well, if I had known that, I would have just dumped the whole container right in there. But Make sure it's all stirred up without overworking it though, so there's kind of a fine line there. I am just going to flour my hands and get right in there because that works sometimes a lot better than the fork, especially when I'm like the thing is, is if it's too dry, you want to add like a splash of milk. So it's kind of hard to judge how dry it is if you're doing it with a fork. It's kind of better to get in there with your hands and mine is definitely too dry so I will be right back. You don't want a lot of milk, like you don't want it really runny. You just want to kind of have it sticking together type of thing. As I think I've mentioned before, this is one of my must-haves in the kitchen. I put it like under everything I cook just to try and save my hands a little bit. So it says to use a large soup spoon and biscuits. I've got my oven preheated so I will throw them in. They're in for about 12-15 minutes. So yeah, we've got the cottage cheese biscuits in. I'm just going to tidy up a little bit and while those are cooking we'll get started on the second biscuits that I'm going to show you this week. Okay, well that was the making of the cottage cheese ones and you'll see them come out of the oven in this next bit here because they kind of came out as I was working on the ricotta ones. But uh, before we get to that, it's halfway point of my show so it's time for you to do your job. Remember, click the thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, scroll down to the very bottom and leave me a comment, say hi. I will reply even if it's just with a heart to let you know that I saw the comment. And as always, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big subscribe button down there and you will get my show every week. Uh, you never know what you're going to get except for the NAS Camp Edition, which is coming up. We went up to the lava beds, we went through Rosswood, we'll see how all that turns out in editing. But yeah, back to my biscuits. Here is the ricotta and black pepper biscuits. Okay guys, well I'm done cleaning up. I've got still seven or eight minutes until the cottage cheese ones are out of the oven. So let's get started on the, here we go, oh let me read that. Whoa, ricotta and black pepper is our second, um, yeah, our second biscuit is ricotta and black pepper. cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder so that we don't want the tablespoon one, we want 
teaspoons. I'm going to have to buy more baking powder. Okay, let's try that again. One teaspoon of salt. Remember, don't do it over the bowl just in case you screw up. And you want half a pound, half a teaspoon of black pepper, which should be interesting since mine's. Ooh, I almost lost the egg again. In a pepper mill, so this is going to make quite a mess, guys. <laughs> black pepper. Mix that up. Okay. That picture at the beginning didn't have the butter in it. I forgot. This one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this one requires the whole stick of butter because you need eight tablespoons. Again, cold butter. So, pastry cutter. You can, and I have done it with the two butter knives trick that my daughter showed me at one point in time, but I'm telling you, this pastry cutter thing is a whole lot easier. And again, this is the last recipe. You want it to look like small peas, coarse cornmeal. bowl for because you need ricotta. So I need one cup. So we're up. Then with my one cup. Uh, 
because it kind of looks more like a pizza dough. Oh, I'm out. Okay, I'm going to kind of fold it in half, turn it around, and gather up your pieces, and again, pat it out down until it's about quarter inch thick or so. And again, the same size as you folded it from before, again, fold it up. Okay, let's add flour because we're starting to stick. So fold it 90 degrees. Okay, you're gonna do that four times anyway. Look at those. That is your cottage cheese biscuit. Okay, and now back to these ones. These ones are not drop biscuits. You cut these with your cutter. I use this, so well, I don't think I'm gonna get very many biscuits using that, mind you. These ones go in at 425 and oh right, I almost forgot. Okay, this I've been told whipping cream is the same as heavy cream, so you just want a little bit of it. And you've got the heavy cream here, you just want to brush. Too much, just brush a light layer. Okay. And you don't want to actually dump it, you just want to sprinkle a little bit of salt. Like I said, these go in for 15 minutes, so. Okay, well it's been 15 minutes. I am now ready to take our ricotta and black pepper. This gets out of the oven. There they are, guys. We'll put them off to cool. Okay, let's come over here so you can see what I'm about to see. Oh plate. I've got the cottage cheese bun, the ricotta cheese and black pepper bun. I'm just going to serve it up with a knife and some margarine. So yeah, that's two biscuits for you to try out. They're really good. Okay guys, well that was my show for today. Oh, before I go, let me just say, those of you that are regular viewers might notice that there are no sugar cube moments in this week's episode and I'm really sorry. Um, I didn't, I just didn't have time. Now that I'm working this five days a week, I get home, I'm tired. Um, I've had to rush the editing on this, which is why it's, oh, there goes my light. Hang on. Okay. Yeah, so I've had to rush the editing, and I just didn't have time to find little sugar cube moments, so... Those of you that watch, if you have adorable little 10 second clips, that's all I need. Show me where you live, show me your pets, show me just something that shows the world is a big, beautiful place. People are great, like just full of amazing things. And yeah, but anyways, until next Saturday, 
Peace out, blessed be. Remember, look for the helpers. If you can't see one, be one. Ciao, guys.